We are back for the GCU Dynasty, and after advancing the week, you can see Jared Martin won Mountain West Defensive Player of the Week. He had three tackles, three tackles for loss, and he did also have an interception in that game. And we will be taking on San Diego State this week, who is 4-1 in conference, 4-4 four four overall. So let's go look at the conference standings real quick. Um, and I believe, yeah, they're number one in the conference, so... Uh, if we beat them, we would actually be tied for first. We would actually probably technically take the first place spot. Since they do only uh, have four wins, we would technically have five. So this is for the lead in the conference. You can see Nehemiah Allen is third in the Heisman race. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the other episodes, uh, you better now because Nehemiah Allen is something special um, to watch. And you can see he is over a thousand yards and he has 20 touchdowns on the year. I believe he is the leading rusher in the NCAA. Pretty confident in that. I know he definitely has the most touchdowns. Yeah, he's the leading rusher over Donovan Edwards by a little bit over 100 yards, but way less carries. There's a couple running backs here with better averages. Um, touchdowns by far got nine more than the next. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the recruiting real quick, and then we will jump into this game against San Diego State. Um, we did get locked out of this D tackle, four star. We are number one on this four star D tackle, that's good. We are third on this running back, and first on this receiver, who does have 96 speed. So we love that. Let's see if there's anyone that can go on a visit. That safety, we're pretty much out the race. I don't really care to send any two stars on a visit, to be honest. So we're going to just mess with our points. Um, I guess we can give, like, some points to this punter. Because I think we do need a punter. Oh, we need a kicker. Oh, wait, no, we got a freshman kicker. Oh, we don't need this punter. Yeah, I don't need these points. I'm tripping. I don't know why we even have him on the list, but I guess we'll take him. Uh, he is the third best punter in the country. Oh, we did. Oh, wait, I forgot the game doesn't show you commitments anymore. So we did get a commitment from Ralph, the gym quarterback with 82 speed, 88 throw power. So not the greatest numbers, but he is a gym. And we do have Nick Dobbs, the tight end, hopefully coming on. Oh, Casey did commit as well. The receiver, slow receiver, 86. He is a route runner. Uh, and we did get him last week, Cameron McVoy. And that's going to be it for the commitments. So we are going to have to mess with some points here. I do want to see what this receiver... I'll check his speed next week. We're going to send the house so we can try to get uh, on his board before he locks us out. And that will be our recruiting. So let's go ahead and jump into this game for first place in the Mountain West against San Diego State. Night game at... GCU looks like the Havocs are showing out now that uh, you know this team has been has won five straight and we are in the purples so uh, we'll be starting with the ball first you see Jacob Wong coming out to the field nine touchdowns ten picks has been finally taking care of the ball which has been big for the Lopes um, we've definitely been focusing more on the run game which has helped that but I love the night game man night game in the purples and Nehemiah is going to break a tackle, only get a yard. The wear and tear probably is catching up to Nehemiah Allen, but he is in the Heisman race. We need him to have a big game to be able to try to get first place in this um, Mountain West Conference. And you can see already to start, minus 13 speed for Allen. Minus, so he is hurting. That wear and tear is catching up to him. It is third and four here. And we're going to go deep, but we take a shot. So we're going to have to punt it away on the first drive. And that wear and tear is no joke now that they've patched the game. And I really don't know what else we can do besides just hope Trey uh, gets some more carries. And hope our defense shows out. Our defense has looked really good. Last week we did have, I believe, four interceptions against Wyoming. Um, and... Yeah, I think it was four. And we only gave up ten points. With the, They scored their one touchdown late. So uh, the defense is hooping right now. And that's going to be a tackle for a loss by Carlos Johnson. So we're hoping 
the Lopes can uh, force a three and out since we just went three and out. And they're going to run it again. They do have some space. Brace to tackle, but Jared Martin's going to bring him down. And it's going to be third and six. So, uh, but yeah, offensively with Allen wear and tear, I, it's going to be tough. We might have to start passing it. I know we went th with this new identity, which has, I just, I just damn near screened my own uh, defender. But we have been going with this new identity of just pounding the rock, running the ball, and after five straight wins, it's finally catching up to us, um, at least to our running backs. And they're going to run it and get three yards on the run. But hopefully Trey's wear and tear is not too bad. I mean, it would be lovely to have a bye week sometime soon, but I don't think we're going to be getting that. It might be jet pass. Nope, they faked the jet. And throw it to the jet. And we're going to bring it down. So it's going to be another third down. Can the Lopes get off the field? I don't know why. I just called uh, I just called three man deep on third and four. So that's probably not the best coverage there. And they're just going to run for it. And we do get the tackle by Mikey Dixon. But they get the first down. So first and ten. Can we stop the run? They seem like they're a team that wants to run the rock a lot as they go play action and when they beat us down the field that's going to be I believe Shaq Cargan beat and the San Diego State Aztecs score first to take a 7 nothing lead all right so Lopes back on the field it's going to be first and 10 and we're going to go RPO here might have Matt Jackson if we get the blocks we do get the blocks we do get Matt Jackson to the outside and we do get seven yards and you can see Allen ankle bruise I'm sorry, we're going to have to put that heavy ankle spat on and keep you in the game, buddy. I apologize, but we need you, Allen. This is the biggest game of the season, really. But Trey's going to get this one, and I believe that's Dorsey just gets dominated by uh, the San Diego State D tackle. So that's going to bring us to third and six. So third and six. We try to, and we are going to have another three and out. So <laughs> San Diego State defense is uh showing out right now as we're gonna have to punt it away and they do have space to run and i take a bad angle but we do get them down at the 35 so the offense is just not looking good right now to be honest just being completely honest and i why is this this corner is gonna have to come down here javon come on you're gonna get pressure and jared's gonna make the tackle javon cleans it up it's gonna be a six yard gain but, um, yeah, San Diego State defense looks good so far. So that's not what you want to see. It's probably going to be a jet, fake jet, and break broken tackle, and another broken tackle. And he zooms to the outside and gets down to the 29-yard line. So their, their run game looks just as good as their defense so far, I guess. And let's see. On first and 10, they're going pistol action. They're just going to run it. Damari comes down, and they get one yard there. So second and nine. They're going to go empty now. So let's see if we can bring some pressure. And we do bring pressure, but they have a man open. And he's going to drag his way. Damari's dragging on his feet, and they're going to get a touchdown. Take a 14-0 lead. First and 10 from the 21. Trey in the backfield. Can the offense get something going here? That's a good run to start. Gets about six yards. So good start to the drive. And we're going to probably pass it here. They are pressed up on Washington. So we're going to see if he can beat the, the defense over the top, which he does. But it's an underthrown ball by Wong. And Washington does come back to make a play on the ball to f make it not... Uh, get picked off there and Nehemiah Allen comes into the game and I guess when we put heavy spat on they gave him a new jersey so they might have given him a new uniform since he was hurt but we are going to go RPO bubble again and Matt Jackson has room and gets down to about the 44 yard line so yeah it looks like looks like Allen they give him a new uniform we put that heavy ankle spat on and apparently it uh it gave him, I don't know, a black uniform. You can see the hurt ankle, minus nine speed. So Trey checks into the game. And they're going to 
bring someone off the edge. So we're just gonna throw it out to Trey, who does make a man miss, makes two men miss, and gets us the first down. Yeah, so this is gonna be interesting to see. Allen with the hurt ankle. They wrapped his whole uniform. They put him in bubble wrap. And Allen does get down for four yards. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be a heavy uh, Trey game this game. Just to be my guess. And maybe Matt Jackson, who's able to hold on for the catch. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first. Lopes are down early 14 to nothing after one. First and 10 from the 26. And to be honest, Lopes haven't faced uh, any adversity like this. In a while, as we do get sacked right there, um, but I feel like the last couple of weeks um, we we've pretty much handled our games pretty easily, and this is the first time since our new identity. Really, I feel like we've we've gone down this much early where we look like we can't even move the ball. So we are moving on this drive at least. So it's going to be third and eight, and we're going to have Parker Dell over the middle, and we're just going to secure catch it, get us down to the nine yard line and it's going to be first and goal here for the lopes from the nine we are going to have the little rpo play parker's not able to get the block so bronze going to be brought down at the five yard line coach is in love with the pass here i am not so i'm going to switch it to a run and let's see if Trey can get in the end zone. The hole's there. And he's able to cut it up for a Lopes touchdown. So the Lopes cut the lead to 14-7 to after the Trey rushing touchdown. First and 10 from the 24 for the Aztecs. They've been moving the ball fairly easy. And that receiver just came all the way back and makes a move to get outside. We do bring him down. So their quarterback already has 107 yards and two touchdowns. That's pretty embarrassing if you ask me, personally. They are going to run it. They're going to have room to run it. That might go to the house. Nope, Jared brings them down at the 35. So we just got no answer for them right now. After a great performance from defense last week, it's not a great performance this week. Jared's having a pretty good performance, I guess. He's just making all the tackles. But they're just running all over us right now. They're passing all over us right now. And they're going to pass it again. And they're going to make a catch again. But it's going to be third and two here. And why not bring some pressure and hope that they run it and we can stop them. And they do run it. And we do stop them. So we might be holding them to a field goal. We are going to hold them to a field goal. So I guess the way the game's going, we will take that, hold them to a field goal. Maybe he'll miss. He's on the road. It's a big game, a lot of pressure, and that's money. So it's going to be a 17-7 lead for San Diego State. So first and 10 from the 19, Allen in the backfield in his bubble wrap, and he does get a hole, and he breaks, makes a nice burst of speed still with that hurt ankle. I mean, he didn't look too hurt. He says he got a minus six speed. He looks he looks still pretty fast there. So Allen's still in the backfield. I mean, shoot, we gonna still give it to you, buddy. We are still going to give you the ball. And you're gonna run it. And you're gonna get a first down, make a move, and 12 yard gain for Nehemiah Allen. And we're gonna hand it off to Trey this time. So Trey checks in, gets the ball. Doesn't get blocks. And it's going to be a loss of one. So we probably need to pass it here. See if we can get Kerwin on the on the bubble screen. Or not the bubble screen, the mid screen. And the corner does try to come up. But we do get the blocks, but not enough blocks. So it's going to be third and six here. Can the Lopes convert? Let's see, Trey's in the backfield. We're gonna have Washington out, but the corner hits him and he's gonna drop it, so. The Lopes are gonna have to punt again. 
which is not a bad punt. We should have probably put some backspin on it, though. And, oh, it almost stopped at the one. That would have been crazy. So the defense back on the field after the Lopes punt. It's going to be first and 10 from the 20. And we're going to try to bring pressure. They're just going to throw it outside for a four-yard gain. And it's going to be second and six from the 24. Coming up on the two-minute warning. And they're going to play action. I tried to get there, and he stopped in the perfect spot, and I missed the tackle. So that's going to be the two-minute warning, and they're just moving the ball. You can see Randy Glaze bruised his shoulder, so he's hurt. So, I mean, the wear and tear from running the balls, uh, not only hurting Allen, it's hurting our old line as well, it seems like. And that's a user! Jared Martin with another pick for the second straight week, and he tried to juke someone, but play the QJB music. The user, the user, the user. Yes, sir. That's a big pick by uh, Jared Martin. He had a, another one last week. We're going to screen pass to Allen, get some blockers. No, no blockers in front. They're just too slow to get out there. So it's going to be a six-yard gain on the pass. Second and four here from the 42. We're going to have Trey coming out the backfield. Makes a man miss. Gets it down to the 11-yard line here. And we are going to chew clock to try to, you know, limit San Diego State's chances once they get the ball back. So going under a minute, we're going to hand it off here to Trey and get upfield. And Trey is going to get his second touchdown of the game. To cut the lead to, I believe, three. 17 to 14. I believe with the score. Yep, 17-14. Lopes down three. San Diego State from the 12-yard line. They're going to fake the draw and get it out only for three yards. I thought they were about to throw it across the middle, which they might have had a man. So it's going to be now second and seven. I don't know who I'm controlling. And that's a dot, and that might be a touchdown. No, we bring him down. Great tackle in the open field, because that could have been to the crib. And they are going to call a timeout, so that's unfortunate there. So first and 10 from the 45-yard line after the big play. And, and that should be another. It could have been a pick, but Mikey Dixon doesn't make a play on the ball. And they're going to complete it for a big game down to the 22-yard line. And they're just going to throw it out. Steps out of bounds. So second and five, 28 seconds left. Can the defense hold? Second and five from the 16. We want to hold them at least to a field goal at this point. Which, that's not going to be a field goal. That's going to be a touchdown. San Diego State... Another touchdown is going to be 24 to 14. 21 seconds. Let's see. Can the Lopes move the ball quickly downfield and get some points? And we do have Trey wide open. He is wide open. Trey Drexel might take this to the house for his third touchdown of the game. And no, but we will call a timeout with 11 seconds left. So we get Trey down the field for a big play. And we should. They just double covered Matt Jackson on the outside. Left Trey wide open. And he almost took it to the house, but we should be able to get points here. At least a field goal, which, you know, anything helps at this point. We got 11 seconds. And we're going to throw to Trey on the outside. He has room. Cut it up. And we're going to call timeout with four seconds left. I'm feeling risky. I'm feeling risky. I feel like we get it. We throw it to Washington on the out, and we might be less than four seconds. Let's see. Bad ball. One second. One second. One second. One second. We take the field goal. Take the field goal. One second. That was quick. Money. Easy ones. Easy ones. So we get points to end the half. Lopes down 24 to 17 going into the half. And 10 for San Diego State. They're starting with the ball to start the second half. They're going to motion a man. 
And they're going to run it, and Jared Martin is going to get another tackle. I feel like he's had a lot of tackles this game. And it's going to be second and ten now. And they're going to run the option play, and their quarterback's just going to have so much space, but we do trip him up at about the 40-yard line. So about a gain of 15 there. And I hate this freaking corner blitz when they're that far out uh, spread. And that should be a false start, I think. Ball start, so it's going to move them back five yards. And our defense needs to get off the field. We need to get off the field. It's first and 15. They throw it out, but Damari's there. And it's going to be second and 12. From the 38-yard line. And... It's going to be a run play, and that's probably a first down. That's not a first down. That's a touchdown. Just right up the middle. We had nothing there. So San Diego State scores again. 31-17. to All right, so 31-17. We're going to start from the 20. Allen in the backfield in his bubble wrap, and it's going to get a gain of nine. It looked like the wear and tear is down a little bit for him, hopefully. I think you can look at this, right? Yeah, I think his wear and tear's down now after the half. So we got him some treatment. He's still in his bubble wrap, and we are going to run up the field, and he looks great. Nehemiah Allen looks great. He looks good. He's rejuvenated after the first half. Gets down to the 22-yard line. So now that put him over 100 yards right there. Eight rushes, 103 yards. So after the half, Nehemiah Allen got some treatment, and he's feeling good to start the second half to try to lead the slopes. To this comeback as they're down 14. And Trey gets the carry. Gets in the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. So Trey is the one to try to lead us. But we see impact from both of them. Both Trey and Nehemiah Allen on this drive. First and 10. From the 25. Play action. And that's going to be an easy pitch and catch for 9 yards. The quarterback has 252 yards and one interception on the game. And they're going to spread us out wide. And they're probably running it. Oh, nope. They're not going to run it, but they're going to throw it right down the sideline. And they're just going to beat us deep again. So another touchdown for San Diego State. This is getting ridiculous. It's going to be first and 10. Lopes down 14 again after the quick touchdown by San Diego State and Allen's going to have nowhere to run there and we're going to go to a pass play here let's see if Washington can beat his man off the line the safety's not going to stay over the top he does beat him but he takes a long takes a hit so that is going to be unfortunate as he did have him beat off the line so it's going to be third and ten and Wong escapes, escapes, has room to run, makes a move, fumbles though. Oh no, not the fumble, not the fumble. Oh my goodness. And the Lopes, the Havocs are not happy. The Havocs are not happy with that fumble. And this is looking like the old Lopes from the beginning of the season. Chris Johnson, the cornerback, forces the fumble, but... This is looking like the old Lopes from the start of the year. Just turning the ball over. Uh, can't stop nobody on defense, even though we just did get a stop on that play. So this is not what you want to see. The Lopes have had so much success the last couple weeks. And I think a lot of, and they're just going to, I mean, we're just getting dominated right now. Uh, I think a lot of it's the wear and tear, though. I think the wear and tear is hurting us, especially on offense. We've seen Allen have to get bubble wrapped. We've seen our left or right guard, Grandy Glaze, hurt, which I believe is wear and tear as well. And that they, they just got us on the play action. And that's going to be another touchdown for San Diego State. But the wear and tear is definitely showing its effect this game. All right, so first and 10 from the 19. Lopes will go play action here. Jackson has him beat. 
but it's all under thrown a little bit. Oh no, that's a touchdown on the play action. They bit on it and we should have had a touchdown. But we do have the screen pass set up and Trey has room, spin move, and it's gonna be third and two. So the Lopes need to score and they need to score quickly to get back in this game before time runs out. And Allen's gonna get them the first down there. But we gotta, we're gonna have to start airing it out. We're gonna have to start airing it out to see what Wong is made of. And our O line's made of, uh, <laughs> don't know, don't even know what to say about our O line right there because that's just too easy. That's unreal right there. And that's gonna be double coverage, almost picked off. And it's gonna be third and 19. So third and 19, I'm going to say let's go with the screen pass to see if we can get like in the fourth and manageable because I don't see us getting a, a big play. And we do get a block, and Trey makes a move. And like fourth and seven, we can, we can go with. We got to go for it. We must go for it. So fourth and seven, this is pretty much the ball game if we don't get it. We have Matt Jackson underneath, but the corner comes and plays it, and that's going to be... This is this is getting ugly. This is getting ugly, and it's getting ugly fast. And I know the Havocs are not happy. And that's like... like We, we should have some stuff in the backfield, and that's five yards. This is this is not what I expected in uh, from the Lopes in a game... That we had a, a chance to take over the, uh, that's a good tackle there. But we had a chance to get take, get first place in the Mountain West. And we're just shit in the bed. It's that simple. And that's too easy. Like, we just can't do nothing. We can't stop their pass. They have 350 yards and five touchdowns passing. They probably have over... Like what, 100, 150 yards rushing as Jared just decides to go eat dirt. Like this is not, this is not the Lopes team that we've seen the last couple weeks, both offensively and defensively. And that's gonna take us to the fourth. We're down 21, 45, 24, San Diego State in control. So second and two, and we do blow that up. Darian Clark. So it's now gonna be Third and five from the 14. Can the Lopes get off the field and force a field goal to keep it a three possession game? Technically, we'll just take a lot of uh, two point conversions. But instead, wait. Oh, he just breaks the tackle and gets a first down. What could go wrong will go wrong for the Lopes in this one. And I'm, I'm. This is probably gonna be a touchdown up the middle. Yep. Touchdown up the middle. All right, so first and 10 from the 25-yard line. And we're going to get hit. And I don't know what to do at this point. We can't block. We can't run. We can't definitely can't play no defense. And can he? Oh, what a throw. What a throw by Wong to get it there. I was like, I don't know if he can get it there, but he's wide open. And we do get it there. So the Lopes get down to the 39-yard line. We do have one-on-one -on -one for Washington. We do have him beat, and we do have... Oh my. He literally just threw it in and it hit him in the ass. And that is a perfect example of what will go wrong or what can go wrong will go wrong. That's a perfect example. Get out of bounds before you fumble again. Get out of Like, he just cooked him on the route and 
He threw it at his ass. And that's going to be up for Parker Dale. Of course, it's not going to be, get tipped, though. We had to get tipped. Second and 10. From the 24-yard line. Wong's going to run it. And I'm not going to go to slide. Third and inches here. And we're going to go play action pass. Does have Parker. And does keep his feet in bounds. So Parker Dale with the late touchdown for the Lopes. I don't know if it does us any good to go for two, but I'm going for two. I mean, it'll cut it from 22 to 20. And Josh Braun can't hang on. So we're going to have to go onside kick here. Just to hope that we can make something shake and he's going to catch it like like it was so easy and that's probably the ball game right there folks we do have seven minutes but I don't I mean unless we get some onside kicks or something and this one's all but over and we're going to have to get a stop too so before we start talking about onside kicks we got to stop their their run game as they're chewing clock and probably just going to run it right down the middle. Yep. Jared trips him up, though. So third and three. Hold on now. Can we get off the field here? My gut, my gut tells me no. My gut tells me this is a first down. That's just what my gut tells me. I could be wrong. Nah, RPO, <laughs> classic. RPO on the sideline, two versus two, and their two win. Oh, nice, broken tackle. Second and eleven, and let's see. I'm I'm calling jet sweep. Oh no, they're gonna pass it. And our, we're going to get cooked, so it's going to be third and inches here. How many stops does it take to leave with me? Yeah. Because we can't stop nothing against the San Diego State offense. And that's another passing touchdown. That's more than two or three. That's like six. Oh, we blocked the PAT. Woo! First and ten after blocked PAT. It's only a 28-point game. It's not like we've given up 58 points or something. And Wong's gonna take off. Surprised he didn't fumble again. No, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. First and ten from the 38. Does have Matt Jackson coming across. Does get a block. Breaks a tackle. Can't break another tackle. Let's go hurry up. Come on, we're moving it. We are moving it, fellas. This game ain't over. We got life. Come on, we fight to the end. We fight to the end. Touchdown, Matt Jackson. And Matt Jackson cuts the lead to 21. We're going to go onside kick again. And Chris Paul hits the three to make it a 42-point game. Come on. Can we get it? Oh, come on. Let's go. It's not over. I told you. It's not over. We have a chance. Just a very small one. But we got a chance. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. That was almost picked off. Nice. Come on. Come on, fellas. It ain't over till it's over. And it's not over. Oh, 
It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, the D lineman pick off the. Oh, that's just brutal. That's just a brutal one. Yep. Off the hit, straight to the D lineman's hands. You just can't make it up. What will go wrong, can go wrong, whatever the line is. It will go wrong, I'll tell you that much. What can go wrong, will go wrong here. Can we tackle? No, we can't. Come on. Two-minute warning. We fight to the end, though. I'll tell you that much. We're going to fight. We are going to fight. Come on. Time out. We fighting. I ain't giving up. We're going to block this kick. We blocked the PAT. We can block a field goal. From 50? Come on. He ain't making this. Right? Right? Off the... Yes. Come on. Who said it's over? It ain't over. It is not over. It is not over. We got a chance. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. d we got in there kind of quick. We're going to get to the outside, get out of bounds. Come on. Trey with the 157 receiving yards? I didn't know he had that many. Come on. Underneath. Easy ones. Get up field. Cut it back. Okay, come on. Tick, 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 tick. Come on. All go. We're going downfield with it. Nothing's open. Of course it's intentional grounding. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Third and 18. We do have Matt Jackson. And he drops it. Oh, no, that, not the drop. So, fourth and 18. We catch that one, though. Come on. Come on. It's not over yet. Don't click off this video. It's not over yet. You got to watch all the way through. You got to watch all the way through because that's Matt Jackson. And Matt Jackson is going to be out at the one-yard line. Come on. We're going to fight. We're going to hand it off to Trey. Gets in the end zone for his fourth touchdown, I think. So it's not over, folks. It's not over. We're going to fight to the end. 14-point game. Can we get another onside kick? This is it, folks. That's it. Woohoo! Force the fumble. Now it might be over. I mean, technically, we could get the ball back with like 20 seconds left. We're not watching a run up the middle, I'll tell you that much. Oh, because he's going to bounce it outside. Oh, my God. No way. He just broke the tackle. Come on. Are we serious? Come on, fellas. We got another chance to be great, and that's not being great. That is not being great. I'll tell you that much. But what is being great is Trey Drexel down the middle. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. That's a touchdown. It's out of bounds. There's just no way that we don't complete that. Literally no way. And now we can't block. 
Now our team forgets how to block. Nice. Come on. Matt Jackson. Another one. Matt Jackson over the top. Come on. We're fighting. 14 point lead. Can we get an onside kick? 28 seconds. Can we get an onside kick? Come on. Ba boom. No. Oh, now it's over. Game over. They're just going to knee it, and it's going to be a Lopes loss 65 to 51 in a shootout. And the Lopes just fall apart in a just straight shootout. I don't know what to say. We played no defense all game. Jacob Wong throws for 481 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. But he did have a fumble, too. And their quarterback throws for 378 yards, six touchdowns, one interception. And he only had one incompletion, which was the interception. So pretty much every pass was technically completed. It just one was to the other team, a.k.a. us. Uh, Allen only had 10 carries, 107 yards. That wear and tear definitely did not uh, – Help him. Seven carries, 41 yards, but four touchdowns for Trey, who did have a monster receiving game, as well as Matt Jackson, who had eight catches, 209 yards, two touchdowns. Trey had seven catches, 157 yards. Parker Dell actually had four catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown. Oh, let's see. They're, uh, they're rushing. Their running back had 24 carries, 226 yards, three touchdowns. So, And I don't even know why I'm about to look at the defense because we had no sacks. We did have one pick by Jared Martin, and we had a couple tackles for loss. But that's about it. After the loss, the Lopes do move to 5-5, five and five, and we will be taking on Washington State next week. We will be finishing with, uh, with three home games, including the one we just played. So we definitely need to win both those to have a chance to um, be in the Mountain West Championship game. It looks like... I'll check it right now. Looks like San Diego State will probably guarantee be in it. If we beat Hawaii, we should get the edge over them. We need UNLV to lose somewhere. And probably, I don't know what the tiebreakers will be with these teams. But we definitely need to win out, finish 7-5, and 6-3 and three in conference. And hopefully we get a rematch against San Diego State in the Mountain West Championship game. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see y'all in the next one.